candidate scoring X percent marks in an exam fails by A marks. Another candidate who scores Y percent marks gets B marks more than the minimum required pass marks. Obviously, once you, you know, go through this part of the uh, statements in the question, and what does it ask? What is the maximum marks allocated in that particular exam for the subject? So let's denote the maximum marks by M and the pass marks by P. Correct? Let us read the statements once again. A candidate scoring X percent marks in an exam, right, is failing by A marks. Okay. So how would the equation turn out to be? X percent of the maximum marks would be equal to P, which is the passing marks, minus A because he's failing. Correct? While the other candidate who scores Y percent marks gets B marks more than the pass marks. So how would the equation turn out to be? It would be Y percent of M equal to P plus B. So that would be B marks more than the passing marks. Correct? What does it ask you to calculate? It asks you to calculate the maximum marks. So obviously what would you do? Because you have the coefficients equal, just subtract the second equation from the first one. In doing that, you will realize that this minus sign becomes positive and both P's will get cancelled. So here you have the next step, which is M taken out common. You have Y percent minus X percent equal to A plus B. Transferring this to the denominator, you have got M is equal to, which is the maximum marks equal to A plus B upon Y minus minus x percent okay of course how will you convert a percentage to fractions just divided by 100 okay so when you divide this by 100 you get 100 times a plus b upon y minus x which is equal to the maximum marks for that subject which is option three just a, a you know as a as a note here Assuming and substituting values which is something that you know most of us are habituated to doing because there are four variables just assuming a value, substituting it and doing all those things might also work for you. But uh, to my mind, just framing two equations and moving ahead would be uh, rather simpler. Okay, so just just uh, just something that we should make note of.